thank everybody for taking the time out to click on this video. If you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. These videos take a lot of time and energy. If you would like to help the channel grow, please donate to my PayPal in the description box down below. And a link to my Patreon where you can receive additional content will be down there as well. Now let's get on to your video. Hello Sagittarius, this is Craig from Hacking Spirituality and I'm here to do a love reading on the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome, not all messages are going to resonate. Energy is interchangeable, so sometimes in the reading you may feel like you're resonating more with the other side, feel free to flip the roles if you need to. Now let's get on with your reading Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius' current energy right now? Current energy of Sagittarius. Current energy of Sagittarius. The four of Earth. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes. And how you give or receive money, time, or emotion. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white being charitable. So I feel right now that you're actually more focused financially and thinking about ways that you can actually increase your inflow of money right now. A little more focused on material at the time than the actual relationship itself. Let's go ahead and pull your partner's energy or your person of interest's energy. What is the energy of the person of Sagittarius is doing? What's the energy that the person Sagittarius is dealing with? Queen of Water. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insight, caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself, trusting your intuition, a deep love for family and friends, Follow your heart. So I feel like the person that you're connecting with has a deep love for family and friends. And they may be someone who might actually, at this time, is giving a little too much of themselves and not really prioritizing themselves, which is a lack of self-love. Um, the Queen of Cups can be extremely caring and giving, but they can be extremely bitter when they don't receive the same type of energy back. So... Right now, I feel like they're definitely a little bit up in their motion, Sagittarius, and um, they may just be giving too much to other people and not really focusing on themselves as much as they should right now. Let's go ahead and see the energy in between the two of you real quick, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and see the energy in between the two of you, Sagittarius. The three of air. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. So, I feel like the energy between the two of you, as much as you both might be there for people in need, you're both probably actually letting go and releasing some stuff from the past. Um, there may have been some tragedies that happened to both of you, and you're both in a time of healing and you really need to let time take its effect on your guys's heart so they can heal properly when it comes up in the middle this is basically the three of swords in tarot which is a great heartache in the past and i feel that the energy is like you know time heals all wounds here and um i think you need to actually let time take over and really focus on yourselves right now and what you can do to actually heal yourselves to make you both better people. Let's go and see what the blockage is for Sagittarius. What is the blockage for Sagittarius? The blockage for Sagittarius is the three of water. News worth celebrating, joyful announcements, or joyful announcements, likes, like engagements, weddings, Pregnancies or graduations, a time for graduation, close communication, or chosen families. 
I feel like there's a lack of joy between the two of you that needs to be worked on here. The Three of Cups is always a card of celebration. If it comes up in a challenge position, that means there's not enough usefulness and joy that's actually going on with the relationship, and there's a need to re-spark that. Kind of let yourselves feel what it feels like to have fun again, and through that loving energy, really open yourself up to each other. So let's go ahead and see what the advice is for the two of you in this relationship. What is the advice for the two of you in this relationship? The Hermit. Time spent in peaceful meditation, a meaningful, a meaningful solution, shine your light as an example to others, seek out or become spiritual mentor, self-discovery. So I think this leads a lot back into self-discovery and actually just reigniting that passion in yourselves and really connecting with yourself again so you can kind of radiate that to others. I believe the Hermit goes within pretty much in all tarot, so it's always a time to seek answers within, pay attention to synchronicities, of course, but definitely with your challenging position being the Three of Cups, look for that joyful, youthful spirit that you have and kind of rekindle that so that you can vibrate this out to everyone else around you. I really hope you enjoyed your reading, Sagittarius, and I look forward to doing your next one.